Now Walter Henskin on John Coombe's privately entered 3.4 Jaguar in his first appearance in this country has the race sewn up. He's 42 seconds ahead of Gawain Bailey and J.T. Crawley in the surviving Equipe Endeavour cars and he has only six more laps to go. A good moment therefore to study the behaviour of some of these cars more closely. Here's Wright's Morris Minor. Walter Hanscom did some tremendous slides at Cops using all the lock as well as all the road. And here's the view every other driver had of him, only quicker. The independent rear suspension of the Bourgbard made an excellent study, but the car lacked the maximum speed required for this game. Gawain Bailey's Jaguar looks even more frightening in slow motion, and that smoke, by the way, is oil from the axle throwing onto the disc brake. Henskin, despite his lead, retained his pace, suggesting he was well within his own limits anyway. Bailey had no hope of catching him, but with number 32 Crawley in third place behind him, the Akeep Endeavour was by no means in disgrace. Yaron was now fourth. Les Leston, with the one and a half Riley, now found himself fifth, a lap behind the Jags, but extraordinarily well placed. While in the 1100 class, the battle for the lead between Gerard and Adams with their A35s continued unabated. This was what the crowds expect to see, and even Dennis Jenkinson was impressed. Hanscom, going into his last lap, put himself six miles ahead of Foster's MG. Bailey in second place had closed the gap to 34 seconds now, but that was his lot. No, that was somebody else's lot. 